cuties, what's up and welcome back to my Roblox channel. Now before we get going, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. So in today's role playing video, I'm gonna be taking you guys through the life of a rich brat. Right away. We need to get you to a hospital immediately. Ew, you expect me to give birth in a hospital? I'll be surrounded by poor and sick people. What if they get us sick? I don't care how much it costs, but I want you to order a doctor to this house for me so I can just give birth in the comfort of my own home. Very well, then. I will get you Brookhaven's finest doctor. Hello? Hello there. My wife is giving birth, and we need your assistance. Um, okay. Bring her to the hospital then, sir. I'm afraid my wife is too bougie to set foot inside of your filthy hospital. Who knows how many germs and diseases are running around in there. I need you to come here to my house immediately. Sir, that is very expensive to order a doctor to your house. It will cost you $100,000. $100,000? That's it? That's chump change for me. I'm the richest man in Brookhaven. <laughs> I expect you here immediately unless you want to get fired. Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to be fired. I will be there right away. Moments later. Hello, sir. I'm here. What in the world took you so long? I'm sorry, sir. There was traffic. My baby! It's coming! Don't just stand there. You heard her. She's going into labor. I'm coming! All right. Push! I'm pushing! It's a beautiful baby girl. <gasps> Let me hold her. She's beautiful, just like her mommy. Goo goo, Dada, Daddy's money. <gasps> her first words are Daddy's money. Wow, she is just like her mother. Oh boy, this is gonna get very expensive. I'm gonna have to get my employees to work twice as hard now. Have you guys decided on a name for her? Yes, we will name her Holly. today. Go ahead, honey. Tell the lady what flavor you want. Hi, can I please get bubblegum flavor? Oh my gosh, yes! Bubblegum is the best flavor! Right? It's my favorite! OMG, twinsies! Wow, you came at a great time! This is our very last scoop of bubblegum ice cream! Wait a second, did you just say last scoop of bubblegum ice cream? Yeah, it's been our most popular flavor! We're all out until next week! Alright, well if there's only one scoop left, then it belongs to me! Um, excuse me, but that's not happening! My daughter and I have been standing in line all day! She's been wanting to try their bubblegum ice cream for forever now! And she has finally saved up enough allowance money to buy it. Well, I don't care, old lady. <gasps> Where are your manners? I don't need manners because I'm rich. Dad, I want that last scoop of bubblegum ice cream right now. All right, uh, hey, little girl. See, my daughter here, when she doesn't get her way, she gets very upset. So how about I give you $100 for the last scoop of bubblegum ice cream? No, I don't want your money. I want my Queen. Wow, I see we have a good negotiator on our hands here. All right, how about $1,000 instead? How about you take your money and get out of here? Just because you have money doesn't mean you can just have your way whenever you want. What kind of lesson are you teaching your daughter? Daddy, do something or I'm gonna scream! No, 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 Holly, don't scream. That won't be necessary. All right, I didn't want to have to do this, but you leave me no choice. Excuse me, but may I speak to the owner? Um, you're looking at her right now. Can someone just pay for this scoop already? It's gonna melt. I'll buy this whole ice cream store from you right now. I'll give you one million dollars. Wait, one million dollars? I could retire and travel the world. Sir, you have yourself a deal. All right, I'll trade you this bag of money for that last scoop of ice cream in your hands. See you later. I am out of here. Hawaii, here I come. Here you go, Holly, my little angel. Ha, thanks, Daddy. <laughs> Maybe if your mommy was as rich as my daddy, then this ice cream could have been yours. Wow, did you seriously just pay $1 million to buy the store? Just so my daughter wouldn't get the last scoop of bubblegum ice cream? Yup, that's what happened, old lady. Now get out of my ice cream store. You're banned. <laughs> Why is she so sad? Yeah. 
shop at the dollar store? <laughs> My mommy told me that it's not about how much the gift you get costs. It's about the thought behind it. <laughs> Sounds like something a poor person would say. <laughs> All right, Jenny, it's time for mommy's present. I worked extra shifts to be able to afford this, so I really hope you like it. Oh my gosh, is it what I think it is? Oh my gosh, mom, it's a skateboard I've always wanted. I'm so glad you like it, honey. Wait a minute, it's her 10th birthday and all you got her was a skateboard? <laughs> That's pathetic. Jenny, you could have just asked to have one of mine. Plus, the one your mom got is a knockoff version. It's not even the best one. For my 10th birthday, my daddy got me a Lamborghini. You must have been really poor to only be able to afford a skateboard for your daughter. I worked so hard to make my daughter happy. <laughs> only for a rich brat like you to tell me I'm doing a bad job. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Jenny. You're better off without her. You ruined my birthday. <laughs> All right. This is officially the worst birthday I've ever been to. There's no petting zoo or bouncy castle. And heck, where's my goodie bag? Oh, I'm out of here. All right, class. I have your midterm results. I will come around and hand them back to you. Great work, Sarah. Jenny, I am very impressed. Holly, I am very disappointed in you. You have failed another exam. If you keep this up, you won't be able to go to college. Ew, college? Why would I ever want to go there? Well, newsflash, Holly, you need college to get a job. A job? Why would I ever need a job when I have a rich daddy? Well, what are you going to do if your father runs out of money? You can't live off his success forever. Oh, yeah? Just watch me. <laughs> Oh, thank gosh this is over. So what should we do today, Sarah? Hmm, let's go shopping, Jenny. That sounds like fun, but I don't have any money. Yeah, now that I think of it, I don't have any money either. Spent it all on Robux yesterday. Did you use store code cuties at least? Uh, duh. Gotta support my favorite creator, Mackenzie. Hmm, I guess we could just go and window shop. Or, hear me out, we could invite Holly to come shopping with us. Ugh, Sarah, but we both hate hanging out with Holly. She's the worst. All she does is talk about herself and how much money she has. When we both know it's not even her money, it's her rich father's money. Yeah, I know, she's the worst, but she does always buy us stuff when we go shopping with her. Just so she can flex how rich she is on us. Yeah, I mean, I do really want some new designer clothes. And I guess I could tolerate Holly for a couple of hours if it means I get free clothes. All right, come on. Let's go ask her to go shopping. Oh, my gosh. Hey, bestie. Hey, girls. Okay, enough about you guys. Have you guys, like, seen my hair today? It's, like, perfect. Like, the most perfect it's ever been. Oh, yeah. It looks so amazing. So, like, me and Sarah were talking, and there's, like, this new designer store in Brookhaven. And together because everyone knows you're the designer queen yeah sure let's do it i mean i haven't bought clothes since like yesterday plus daddy just gave me a brand new credit card and it has no limit oh my gosh no limit have me and jenny told you how much we love you you're like our bestest best friend ever come on let's take your lamborghini there of course i mean we can't be seen in your ugly van <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny holly She's worse than I remembered. Is free clothes really worth hanging out with her? Uh, yeah, of course. Come on, let's go. All right, get in, losers. We're going shopping. <gasps> oh, my gosh. There's so much designer here. Oh, my gosh, girl. That's so cute. I know, right? And it's Louis Vuitton. Oh, my gosh. That must cost so much. I know. I don't even want to know how much it costs. <gasps> Whoa, it's a thousand dollars. Whoa, how will you ever be able to afford that? It's not like we're here with our rich best friend or anything. <laughs> Watch this. Oh no, Sarah, it looks like I forgot my wallet at home. <gasps> oh no, you forgot your wallet? Yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to put this top back. I can't afford it. Wait, I'll buy it for you. <gasps> really, you will? Yeah, my daddy says I should start giving back to the less fortunate. And I don't want to give it to the poor people I don't know, so I'll just give it to you. Oh my gosh, really? That's so sweet. Yay, I'm so poor. Thank you. Here's my daddy's credit card. Thanks, Holly. You're the bestest friend ever. Hey, Holly, I'm super poor too. Okay, pick up whatever you want. Wow, thank you. You're the best. Thanks for the ride home, Holly. Do you guys want to come over for a sleep? 
sleepover tonight instead? Uh, you know, I'd love to, but my family from out of town is, uh, visiting. I promised them I'd hang out with them tonight. Oh, that's okay, Jenny. Sarah and I can just have a sleepover tonight then. Uh, I'm busy too. Oh, with what? Um, I promised Jenny's relatives that I would hang out with them too. Isn't that right, Jenny? Uh, yes, yes, I forgot. You did promise them. Okay, gotta go, bye. Oh, that sucks. Phew, thank gosh that's over. Mommy, can I borrow Grandpa's credit card? Of course, honey. What do you need it for? Ugh, you're so nosy, but if you have to know, I need it for more Robux. Of course, honey, but make sure to... Yeah, 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 use star code cuties. You don't have to tell me that every time. I do it anyways. Now hand over Grandpa's card. See ya, wouldn't want to be ya. All right, I don't know what to do with my time. I might as well just watch some TV. All right, let's see what's on the news today. This just in, breaking news! We have just received word that there has been a terrible plane crash in Brookhaven. One of the richest couples in all of Brookhaven was on the plane that tragically crashed into a mountain. From myself and all my colleagues here at Brookhaven News, we pay our dearest condolences to the families affected by this terrible accident. This is Laura from Brookhaven News signing off. Aw, that's so sad. Anyways, what else is on TV today? Mom, Grandpa's card got declined. It said there was not enough funds. What the heck does that mean? Is that French? Wait, what do you mean? My daddy said that this credit card has no limit. There must just be a mistake. Come on, let's just go to the bank. I demand you to fix this mistake immediately. Yeah, because if I can't buy more Robux, then I'm gonna scream. And trust me, you don't want to see me when I'm angry. Ma'am, please calm down. What is the problem? Molly, tell him. Well, I was trying to buy Robux, and the website said that the card was declined. It said that there was not enough funds. Oh, uh, okay. May I take a look at the card? I'll enter it into our system here to see what went wrong. Uh, okay, here you go. Make it quick. I'm in a rush. Okay, it'll only take a second. Oh, no. I'm terribly sorry for your loss. <laughs> My loss? Huh? What are you talking about? Wait, you didn't hear? It's all over the news. Your mother and father passed away in a plane crash today. Oh, okay. But, uh, what about the money? I'm terribly sorry, but there's no money left. The bank found found out that your father was heavily in debt. There were millions of dollars of Robux purchased on his car that he didn't pay off. And they oop? The bank canceled his cards. Wait, you're telling me I'm poor now? Wait, mom, we're poor? No! <laughs> no, why me? Well, I'm glad at least I was left with the ice cream store when my parents passed away. If not, I would have been homeless. Oh, hi, sir. How can I help you today? May I speak to the owner of the store? You're speaking to her. I have here with me an eviction notice. You haven't paid rent in six months. The bank is taking your ice cream store away. Wait, what? No, how is this possible? This is all I have left. Well, you clearly haven't been making any money from this store. Well, what do you mean? My ice cream store is the most popular ice cream store in all of Brookhaven. Well, ma'am, have you ever considered to increase your price? You're selling scoops for 30 cents. Huh? 30 cents? That's not possible. I thought I was selling them for $3. Ma'am, look at your menu. The decimal is in the wrong spot. That says 30 cents. Wait, so you're telling me I've been selling ice cream for 30 cents for the past 25 years? Wait, you've been selling ice cream for 30 cents for the past 25 years? No, I knew I should have paid more attention in math class. <laughs> I think I'm sick. Oh, my heart, it's hurting. All right, I think I need to go see a doctor. Hey doctor, I'm having some unusual pains in my heart. Could you take a look? Oh dear, oh dear, that is not good. Come here, we need to give you an x-ray. Please lay on the bed, ma'am. Oh, this hurts. Oh no, as you can see here, it looks like you have developed a rare form of cancer in your lungs. Oh no, am I gonna die? You're lucky you came to see me today. If not, you would have died tomorrow. Come, follow me. All right, lay down. I have a shot here that will cure the cancer. You are very lucky because this is the last one I have in the whole hospital. Next shipment wouldn't arrive until next month. <gasps> oh my gosh, so I'm gonna survive? Wait, did I just 
hear that was the last shot you have? Uh, yes, ma'am. Who are you? My daddy is the richest man in all of Brookhaven. And I demand you to give it to me right now. Hey, what? No, I need it or I'm gonna die. I was here first. Ew, who's this peasant laying here? Anyways, doctor, I'll give you one million dollars for it right now. Wait, did you say one million dollars? I could retire and travel the world. Looks like we got a deal. Here's your money. If only you had a daddy as rich as mine, then maybe you'd still be alive. <laughs> Toodles. <laughs> All right, uh, rest in peace, I guess. Uh, I'm out of here. Hawaii, here I come. so much for watching make sure to comment down below which brookhaven role-playing videos you guys want to see me do next and congratulations to bacon gaming for being our post notification winner if you guys want to be our next post notification winner all you have to do is turn those post notifications on and comment down when you're done and always make sure to like comment subscribe and turn those post notifications on so you can alert every time i upload a new video and remember guys always be a unicorn bye